guys, good morning. Sorry, I think I might be a couple of minutes late. Um, bit of a manic morning trying to get ready. Um, can't wait to show you these. So we are talking about stretch chainmail. So I'm going to be using our rubber O-rings today. Um, I'm going to teach you these two patterns. We've actually got three available with the sets. Um, the helm, which uh, as you will know from some of my previous chainmail patterns is my ultimate favorite um and then we've got two others as well now, i can't remember the names of them i'll have to have a look in a second um these are um some of kitty's kits that she's put together and as you know she always gives them names um so i can't remember what they're called um but i will find it for you in a sec just dropped one you can even make rings out of them so we're going to be doing um, some really funky things this morning. Um, we've got some amazing bundles available as well, not only with your jump rings, um, but I know um, quite, a, uh, quite a few of you have bought those over the last few sessions. Um, and uh, of course, we've got the O-rings on offer as well. So I'll take you through that. Um, good morning, Linda. Hi, Alicia. Morning, Jitty. Debbie, Leslie, Lucy. Hi, Jan. Angela, Helen, good morning, Sarah. Never seen this before. Yeah, so the rubber O-rings have been around for quite some time. I did some, gosh, I was making um, chain mail with these years and years ago. Some of you might even remember. Um, but at the time, the colours were quite garish. They were quite bright. Um, and we've actually got some amazing colour bundles for you today. Um, right up my street. I'm going to do a nice rose gold one, obviously. Um, good morning, Sharon. Hi, Julie, Mina. Leanne saying she loves, loves, loves it. Um, good morning, Jill. Hi, Ruth, Dorothy, Sarah. Hi, Paula, Gwen, Julie. Lots and lots of you already. Okay, so I'm going to show you two of the patterns today. Um, I'll also show you the downloads. They are available um, $1.99 each or $2.99 for all three of them. Um, so the three patterns... And I'll, um, I'll turn you down in a moment so that I can show you. You've got more of an intricate one. You've got the helm as here. And as you can see, they've all got stretch in them. And then you've got this beautiful one as well, which is more like a flat European. Um, uh, but obviously, they've, they've got girly names. So I'll show you those in a minute. Um, Camille's saying, obviously, obviously rose gold for today. Um, in fact, I'll show you the one that I'm making. Look at this. Um, so the, uh, the O-rings themselves, um, they're actually a lot more pastel than they look on there. But I'll, I'll show you when I turn you down. Um, good morning, Betty. Doris, question. Sarah, do the rubber rings last as much as the jump rings? It depends how you're going to look after them. Obviously, don't get them wet. Um, if you do, then dry them because otherwise they will start to corrode. Um, I would be saying that um, you're still going to get years out of them um, if you look after them properly. Um, so don't leave them out in the, you know, in the sun, just like you would with your metal. Look after it as you would with your metal. Um, but they've got a good old stretch in them. Um, I know that some of these samples actually Kitty made years ago um, and they're still in great condition. So just make sure you look after them properly. Um, just treat them as your costume jewellery metal um, and you'll be good. Um, okay, so I cannot believe chain mail has the versatility of all other jewellery. I know it's amazing, isn't it? This is why I love it so much. Okay, so a few things to show you. First of all, I'm just going to move you in a little bit further. I had a couple of people saying yesterday was a bit dark. So I'm hoping, sorry about the wobble, wibble wobble. <coughs> Excuse me. I am hoping that uh, that's a bit better for you. Okay, so this is one of the colorways that I'm going to put together. So I thought I would use two of our colors of the greens. Let me just show you the actual color mix that you get with your o-rings now i've taken out a lot of the green i've also taken out um this really lovely pastel that goes with my rose gold you've got pinks in there purples bit of yellow gold brown there's also clear as well so of course that's going to go with anything um what else is in there a bit of red bit of orange uh, so i think it's a really beautiful mix and obviously i've already stolen some of my favorites so i'm going to mix together my uh, pastel pink and my rose gold I think they look really lovely together and I've also picked two of my greens to go with my gold for this one as well which is the European stitch um, slightly different way of of course putting them together uh, because they don't have the links in them right let me lift you up so that I can get the uh, 
reflection out of the way and I will show you what's on offer today on the website. So go to the main page up at the top onto the categories down to Facebook tutorials just as normal chain mail with O-rings. Okay so you're going to get 500 of your eight mil o-rings in a mix now that should be 30 pounds um so you're getting amazing value for money today 14.99 so um they are two mil in thickness eight mil in size you're going to get approximately 500 it's done by weight i don't think simon's mean enough to let anyone <laughs> sit down and count them out it's done by weight but um approximately 500 of them um i would say you're probably using up to about 50 or 60 of them per bracelet. So you, uh, plenty, plenty makes. Um, we've also got your jump rings on offer if you haven't already got them. So six mil is what I'm going to use to do this lovely little European one. Um, so six mil, that should be £9 down to £7.50. You're going to get all your colours. So your rhodium, gunmetal, gold, champagne gold, rose gold and silver. And then the same in your eight mil. They are down from nine to £7.50 for the bundle. And then, of course, you've got your projects. Like I said earlier, two ninety nine for all three of them, one ninety nine each. Uh, if you uh, want to pick and choose the ones. So how they look finished. This is the one that I was going to show you. Uh, so this is your slightly more intricate so it's a two on two link you've got your o-rings in between as well so it is actually a nice simple one then we've got of course oh i was going to get the proper names for you wasn't i hold on one sec uh okay so your helm uh let me just grab that one your helm weave is called claudia uh your two on two is called Kennedy and your European is called Reese. Okay, there we go. So that's, they're the ones that you can go for. Or of course, for two ninety nine, you can be getting all of them. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with, let's start with the helm because it is my favourite, but it's actually one of the most simple ones to do uh, with your O-rings. If you are struggling to do this with your ordinary chain mail, then I would suggest giving it a go with your O-rings, because actually it is um, a little bit easier. Because, of course, you've got that sort of pliability with them, um, you can squish them, so it is a lot easier. Um, bright enough for you guys, I'm sorry... I'm a bit paranoid after the message uh, message I got yesterday saying that it was so dark she couldn't see it, but um, hopefully it's okay. Let me know if you can see. Okay, so with your helm, as you can see, we've got a really beautiful bracelet that's dimensional. So not only does it look good from the front, uh, but you've also got that really intricate weave on the back as well. Oh, looks like someone's got a job interview today. Uh, Natalie, good luck, Natalie. Uh, hope it all goes well for you. Surely you should be prepping, not looking at beads. <laughs> Best of luck, I hope it all goes well. And thank you for joining us just before you get yourself ready. Okay, so with your jump rings, just as normal, and we did this yesterday, uh, was it yesterday? Day before, when we were using our lucite leaves. We're going to open up a load of jump rings. Uh, Doris is saying this is clear. Okay, good. Thank you, Doris. Um, opening up all your jump rings in preparation. So I've already made the majority of my bracelet. I wanted to be able to show you how to finish it as well. Because, of course, we don't need a clasp on any of these, which is also a great selling point. So they're pretty much going to be one size fits all because you can put them on because you've got that stretch in there. So if anybody struggles to do up clasps, if you have um, your sore fingers, anything like that, struggling with clasps, this is going to be a fantastic way to be able to make bracelets um, either for yourself or, of course, to gift as well. Okay, so on to my two little rubber O's that I have at the end here. I'm just going to refer to them as O-rings from here on in. So you've got your jump rings and your O-rings. I'm going to add on two of my O-rings and uh, that is two from my pattern and then another two fresh. So obviously when you're first starting, it would just be four. And then we're going to close that over like so and that will give me my jump ring in the middle two o-rings on either side what i need to do is actually capture 
these little o-rings in the middle with one of my other jump rings so you can see i've already opened them all remember to pull open with your dominant hand and that way when they are sat down they are ready for you just to pick up straight away so i'm then going to take this and i'm going to go in between the two rings before around my o's and through the two rings at the top oh i'm so sorry i was completely off camera there um let me take it out and i'll do it again this is what I get for um, not looking at my screen. Let me shift you around. Okay. See, I've got a, there's like an arm on the camera and if it's in the way, I hit it and it drives me mad because then you get a wobble and then you think you've all got double vision. Okay. Take your open jump ring. There we go, now you can see. Take your open jump ring, we're going through the two at the base, around the rubber O's, all the way up and around your O-rings, and then through, and what I like to do is just pivot that around. And that's gonna encapture the O-rings. And as you can see, because they're squidgy, if you struggle doing this with your normal uh, jump rings, then this is actually a really nice way of getting around it because you've just got that little bit more maneuverability. So it's a great way to learn. So as you can see now, if we look from the side, I've got one going around my O-rings, I've got one down at the base, and I need two. So I'm just going to take an open jump ring, I'm going to go on top of the one that covers the O's, and put that straight through. So can you see there, it's completely captured, like so. Okay, so now you will continue. So that is the concept of doing it, okay? There is one step that you need to add in and that's adding on your rubber O's to these ones. I wanted to show you it without them first because um, it just makes it a little bit easier. So the final step is adding on your two extra O's. Ignore this bit for now. I just wanted to show you the concept of the pattern for those of you who don't know um, the helm weave and you haven't seen us do it before. Okie dokie. So we'll start again because this is exactly the starting point that you will have, just like we did a moment ago. Two of your O-rings from your bracelet and two new O's. Close this over. We're going to encapture and surround our O's in the middle. So opening up that jump ring, you're going in between the two before, around the rubber O's, up through the top, and closing this off. Like so. Okay, and now what we'll do is add our last one through the two that we've used and through the two at the top. Isn't it fabulous? And you've got that lovely stretch in there as well. So the, the type of jump rings that you use is obviously very important. Um, these are a fantastic strength and they're gonna work beautifully with your rubber O's, uh, with your O-rings. Um, because of course, if your uh, chain mail, if your jump rings are too soft, when you're pulling, they're just gonna open up. So you need to have that rigidity in them, that strength in them to enable them to withstand that stretch. If you're using a lesser quality jump ring, it's not gonna work. Okay, so let's do that once more. I'm gonna take my open jump ring, add on two from my bracelet, two from my pile, and close that off. We then take another open one, through in the middle so if I turn oh sorry guys if I turn this sideways we're going in between here around your rubbers around the O's all the way up to the top question are these patterns in your chain mail booklet please um it is Natalie but not in this way because the rubber the rubber O's aren't in there so Although it, um, the end result is the same, 
um, for this one, certainly for your helm. The other two are not. Um, you can't make it because you don't have, unless you have the rubber O's. Um, and of course the pattern will be different because these don't open up. Uh, so the pattern is the same, the technique is different, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so this one is in there, but of course the um, O's are with jump rings, so it's a different technique to make it up. Okay, so this is your, oh, what was this one called again? Mm, Claudia, your helm chainmail and Claudia on the page. Okay, so you can see it's gonna sit really beautifully. You wanna make sure that you have a large bracelet. So you don't wear as when I'm making stretch elastic bracelets or I'm just uh, threading them on. These I don't wanna to touch. Um, I, I, I would normally have them so that they are just touching. I want it a little bit bigger because of course you need to be getting over your um, knuckles. And then when it comes to the very end, you will quite simply add in, I will need to make this bigger, but I'll do it for you now anyway. Rather than adding on your two new, you will take two from one end of your bracelet. <clears throat> Gosh, excuse me. Two from one end of your bracelet and two from the other. And you want to make sure that you're gonna thread them on in the right direction so that it will give you a completely closed bracelet, but that it's flat and not twisted. So then when I close this, can you see now I've got my complete bracelet all the way along and all I need to do is add in my uh, little captured sections. In fact, let's just finish this one so that you can see how easy it is. And I'll just make it bigger once I leave you. I've got a feeling I'll probably need another two or three links. Um, so as you're opening them up all the way around, of course, we've only got the individual jump rings on the rest of this bracelet. So once I close this one down, can you see here, my, my next jump ring is already attached. So I will just take my open jump ring. I'll go through these O's, bringing it around and adding it through these O's as, ooh, O's as well. And you want to be careful that they don't overlap. So I just unthreaded that ever so slightly uh, because if they overlap, you're going to end up uh, with a twisted finish. You want to make sure that they're nice and flat. So then we'll just do the same thing again. Capture around here and add on your second O. So really nice and simple. Um, Leanne says, open jump ring, add two O rings, and then I'm lost. Um, okay, well, not to worry, because it's all in the exact pattern for you. Um, you'll open two O-rings from your bracelet and two from the pile. So you have to add four. Um, question, what patterns are in the three pattern downloads? So the Helm, which is your Claudia, the European, which is your Kennedy, and then the two-on-two -two double link, which is Reese. Unless I've got that the wrong way around, sorry. This is Kennedy and this is Reese. So these are the three that you will be learning and making. Okay. Um, Leanne, hopefully you'll be able to rewind that once we upload this and you'll be able to go back over it. It really is very simple, just adding four O-rings. So you're adding two from your ordinary pile and two from the bracelet that you're already making. Okay, so let's move on to Reese. Now this gives you the finished result of a flat European chainmail weave. And what I've done is picked two different colours. So you've got um, a darker and a lighter green. I thought they looked fabulous with the gold. I thought it looked really nice. And again, just to prep beforehand, you're going to open up some of these jump rings to make it nice and easy. Now I've already again prepped some of this one because this one takes a little bit longer to get the hang of, but it's still super simple. Dorothy, are these designs in your pattern booklet, Sarah? I have this, but not to hand at the moment. No, they're not. Um, the helm weave is, uh, so like I said, um, the helm weave is, but not with rubber O's. So it gives you the same result, but not with the rubber. So it's not stretched and it won't be the same technique um, to add it in because of course your jump rings, uh, you open and close. Um, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't be doubling up on anything because I haven't used any of the rubber O's in my chainmail booklet. 
Um, so you could go for the 2 dollars pattern, get all three of them, and uh, they would be new for you. Okay, so opening up some of these. Now, to begin with, we're just going to do a very simple chain and just add on alternate colours onto the very end. So this is how you would begin. So opening up your jump ring, picking up one of your rubber O's, closing that over, taking an open jump ring, going through the link of your chain and picking up a new O and closing that down. So you'll do that until you have the required length or the amount that will be in your instructions. So really nice and simple. And then to get this to sit as beautifully as it does, and I love the way that this works because it's actually very simple. It took me a, a few tries to get the hang of it. And then once you have that light bulb moment and it just sits beautifully, it's super simple and easy to achieve. Um, way easier than uh, doing the European um, with the open jump ring, so I like that. Okay, so the concept is you're going to take your next rubber ring in your link and you're going to twist it um, 180 degrees. What that will do is allow the jump ring to sit down at the side and your two rings to then sit nice and flush underneath each other. So can you see that? If I pull that out again, you will see it come out. You take the ring and you twist 180 degrees and that will allow it to sit, and I'm just gonna get the extension chain out of the way, on top of each other like so. And it becomes so much easier as you continue going because um, the, the bits and pieces all then sit in in line and you can see that the pattern is continuing. You're then going to take oh, uh, you're then going to take one of your open jump rings and bring it into the middle and close that over. Um, Doris is saying I love these but not sure with the rubber o-rings need convincing a bit more. <laughs> Well, if you uh, struggle with clasps or if you like the look of chain mail, you can't go much better than that for me. Um, I think it's really nice because you can add colour into your jewellery. So it's a nice way of adding colour, giving it a little bit of texture and it just makes it look different from anything else that is out there as well. Now you can of course add beads onto these as well, just like you would with your normal jump rings and your chain mail. And if you struggle with any of your chain mail, using the O-rings makes it really nice and easy. So if you are selling or um, gifting these, of course, the bonus is that it's one size fits all as well. And of course, you can keep a lot of your uh, jump rings because you're not using as many in your patterns, replacing them with the O's for a nice bit of colour. And then, of course, it means you've got them for your good your good patterns too. So taking these rings, flipping it, sort of bending it to 180 and popping that through. That looks quite easy. Yeah, Angela, it really, really is. I think it's such a nice way if you haven't yet started chain mail um, or you've been doing chain mail for years and you just fancy something a bit different. I think it's really nice and actually very therapeutic and the texture of the rings is really nice to work with as well. And close that over. And then with your last ones, so to begin with, up at the very top, I actually found that my first couple kept on coming undone. So just like I recommend with a lot of the other chainmail patterns that I'll teach you, add in your sort of point of difference. So it could be a clasp, it could be a, a, a large jump ring. So I'm just using my larger one here, uh, which is bigger. So of course that will then give you a stop point. You'll remove it afterwards. But I just think it looks so beautiful. And I love the fact that it stretches and they're gonna be so lovely and comfortable to wear as well. Um, let me see if I can actually put this one on. Oh yeah, it will fit me. Just going to roll that down my wrist because the helm one is more of a flat weave um it is a lot easier to get on which is great i just need to finish off two of my little links so it goes really nice with my rose gold i think it's a really lovely color um and pattern um to start working with so we've got all three of them so you've got your kennedy your reese and your claudia 
you can actually get all three of them for $2.99 or each of them individually for $1.99. Of course, your O-rings are half price as well, over 500 of them. Now they come in so useful. Uh, when I was using these quite a while ago, I used to make little flowers out of them. I used to use them for a lot of crafting projects. So what I'll do over the next week or so, um, we do have quite limited stock of them, um, but if you manage to get hold of yours today, over the next week or so, I'll um, I'll start using them more in some of the videos and give you a few different uses for them as well. You can make really beautiful little daisies out of them and things like that as well. Um, okay, that's it from uh, for me today, guys. A nice, quick, simple one. Two of your patterns out of your three. Um, I will be here tomorrow. Uh, Maxine says these were very popular with blokes in the USA a few years ago. Yeah, for, for unisex jewellery, they're brilliant. And obviously the colours that we've put in here um, are um, going to give you that range as well, uh, which is really lovely. Um, I think my grandsons will like them for their football colours. Amazing idea. Team football colours, really nice. Um, and of course, like I said, it's a, just a great way of adding colour into your chainmail. I've got so many samples here. Um, of various different colours. I'm dubious to show you all of them because you won't get the exact colour mixes in your sets, but they're just great fun, really nice way of adding colour into your jewellery, very simply, uh, whilst also making it uh, completely handmade, um, which is always always what we like. It's a very, it's an, an involved make without being too tricky. Uh, and then, of course, you can have a uh, great fun with them. Um, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to be here tomorrow. I have geometric shapes and beautiful turquoise beads tomorrow. I know my mum is going to love tomorrow. Turquoise is her favourite. Um, so hopefully we'll have lots of fun uh, with that as well. Enjoy your day, guys. Happy Tuesday. I will see you all tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Um, don't forget to get your questions in for Kitty's Q&A on Friday as well. We've had quite a few so far. I'm sure she is. Uh, making her list in the background um, Friday will be Q&A with Kitty at 10 o'clock anything that you would like to have covered whether you would like some of our older techniques revisited whether you've been making something and you're really struggling with it maybe you think you've done something wrong send pictures send emails you can message us anything you would like to see um, I know that Kitty will try and uh, show as many techniques as possible but also run through those questions as well Guys, thank you so much for joining. I'll see you tomorrow morning. I hope you love the O-rings as much as I do. Um, I think it's a fabulous take on uh, your jewellery. And who knew chainmail could be stretchy, eh? It's a lovely take on it. Um, really hope you enjoy. Uh, make the most of the bundles as well while the stock lasts. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Take care, guys. Bye.